Hello everyone, welcome in the lecture of the RCDC. In this lecture, we are going to learn that how we can design and detail column in our RCDC. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed about how we can import our ETAS file into the RCDC. So if you have not watched that lecture, please watch that, then only you proceed with this lecture. Now let us start creating file in the RCDC. So first of all, you have to mention the project details. So first of all, you will just give the project name. Then you will just mention the client name. After that you will mention the engineer name. Now after that I will select the design code. So as you know that we are going to design with Indian standard. So I will select IS here. So if you are considering any other code, then please select that code only. So if you are going to design with BS code, then you will select BS here. If you are going to design with American standard ACI code, then you will select ACI here. So it is your choice in which code you are going to design it here. So I will select the IS code here. And after that, I will select our latest detailing code, which is IS 1392-316. Now after giving the project details, now you have to select the file, which is created by ETAS. So if you remember that in the previous lecture, we have created the access file which I told that we will import that access file in our RCDC from which we can create our design and detail for every structural element. So that file we are going to select it. So how to create that file I have already explained you in the previous lecture. So if you don't know that how to create the Microsoft access file from ETAPS then please watch that video then you can proceed with this lecture. So just I will select that particularly that Microsoft access file which is created by ETAPS and just this file contains all the tables and all of all the member forces of the beams, columns, peers and all. So this is the very important file which is created by ETAPS and this file only will just run in the RCDC. So no other file is going to run. This only access file is going to run in our RCDC which is created by ETAPS itself. Now after selecting your access file, now it's time to select the design element. So you know that we are going to design for the columns. So I will select the columns and the wall from here. And after that, I will click on create project options. It will take some sort of time for importing your file in the RCDC. Meanwhile, if you get any error while importing, you just inform me so that I can just rectify that what the mistakes you are doing. Especially if you are getting any peer force missing error, then just you make sure that your peer leveling is given accurately. Now your file is ready in the RCDC for further design and detailing for the columns for your project. Now when you just imported your file, the first thing you will be doing here to save this RCDC file. So you have to go to the file option. Here you will click on save option here. And you will just save this file in RCDC folder with the project name. Now if you are going to look before going into deep in topic, one very important information. A span instruct has released PG program in structure design and analysis. In this program, you will be learning ETAPS, SAFE, RCDC, Revit and CAD in very detail. In this program, you will be getting live classes, pre-recorded sessions, quizzes, project submissions and checking and also you will be getting a personal training also. Also you will be getting dedicated career service which help you to provide placement in top companies. Our student is placed in top companies in India, also in abroad. Also, if you want to open your own consultancy, our program and team will help you to achieve that goal. Now come back to the topic which we were discussing. Look at the dashboard of the RCDC, you will find that in one half of the position, you will find there is a column layout. So this is the column layout you are having. So this you can look at it, this is the column layout. So this is the same column layout you will find in the e tabs. So what the column layout is there in the ETAPS, the same column layout we will find in the RCDC also. So this is the share wall position and this all the columns you can just look at it is imported from ETAPS into the RCDC. It will have a similar column positions what is there in the ETAPS. So the same column positions will be there in the RCDC also. So you will not find any changes in this. Now the other thing you will find that is design input. So this box which you are looking here. 
this is your design input box so here you will find column reference column sizes label data shift of cg frame type so if you just click one by one just i'm just clicking on column reference so you will find that all the columns of your ground floor will come here like if you just look at, at the ground floor so we have a column of c20 then c19 so like that all the columns will come here so if you look at it on oht we don't have a c20 here and c19 also we don't have so you will not find this thing is there in our oht and lmr and also if you just click on this let's suppose that i'm clicking on terrace c20 so it will reflect you for here also so just look at it it got highlighted here that you have just selected c20 so let's suppose that i'm just selecting c23 here so it will get highlighted here and just i will select the share wall also so that it will get highlighted in our column layout so we'll just find that uh, the column reference for our share wall and i will select it and you will find that that is also get selected so you will find in the form of p1 here so you just select this p1 you just look at that it got selected so you can just find it here that in the column layout this got highlighted even if you just select the pw to 3 here so it will get highlighted here in the column layout now another important tab you will find in the design input is your column size so when you will just switch the tab from column reference to column size you will find that all the size of the columns will come here so this is very simple like if you just going to select any of the columns here you will find that the size is also giving here so 300 by 600 is your size so in the tab of column size you will find that all the size of the columns is there now if you're going to change the tab from column size to level data so i'll just switch the tab from column size to level data i'll find that all the floor levels is showing me like oht and lmr terrace sixth floor fifth floor four three two one and ground floor along with the floor level you will find that few more important property they're asking you to give it like in the ground floor for the concrete what grade of strength you want to give it like m25 you want to give it m30 you want to give it so like they're asking you same you will find that for the ground floor for the main steel for the columns what property you want to give it if you 415 or if you 550 or if you 500 if you 600 so like that they're asking you for the stirrups what property you want to give it if you 415 if you 500 so like that they're asking you for the cover what the cover you want to give it 40 mm 50 mm so along with your floor like if you're there in the fourth floor then these are the property you want to change it you can change it along with the floors so like that for every floor you will find that this property you can just change it before going to do any changes in this property one very important note you have to keep it in mind that we have to match this all the properties with our e tabs so what the property we have assigned in our e tabs the same property we have to assign in the rcdc also so let's suppose that for the columns of 600 by 300 we have assigned a steel grade of 550 so the same grade of the steel we have to assign it in rcdc also so same thing is going to happen for the concrete also so let's suppose that for the columns we have defined m25 in the e tabs so here also we have to define the same grade only now in your mind one very important question might be arising that why not rcdc is taking the grade of the concrete grade of the steel or even the cover directly from the e tabs why we need to assign it manually see rcdc will not take directly your grade of the steel grade of the concrete or the cover from e tabs we have to manually change or we can say we have to assign manually here so for assigning manually we have to follow some steps so please look at carefully what the steps we are following the same steps you have to follow you also so you have to go into setting options here in this you will find design setting we will click on design setting after that you will get a material list options here so you can just look at it you will find here the material properties and here only you will find material list and you can just look at it this mark is ticked like use material property from analysis you will untick these options and after that you will give it ok and again you will go to the level data and here you will just change this grid to fe 550 Control c and just you select all this and just do the control v it will get changed here also 
and this for the rebar it will be remain same fe 415 and cover it will be 40 mm you just give it control c you will select like this and give it control v we have matched our grid for the concrete main rebar stirrups as per e tabs so you know that in e tabs we have defined for the columns our grid fe 550 so you can just look at it we have given fe 550 for the stirrups we have given a grid of fe 415 we have given this also and for the concrete you remember that we have given m25 in e tabs the same we are giving here also m25 and cover we are giving 40 mm so when you just go into design setting and when you tick these options when you just tick this use material property from analysis when you tick these options you will find that so when you're going to change this it will not get changed so if you just tick that options no and if you try to change this all the things you will find that it will not get changed here so what you have to do for doing these changes so you will go to the design again this setting and you will just untick that material list property you will untick this then finally you can change your grade of the concrete grade of the steels and all the things so go to the level data and you can just change from here so when that will be untick then only you can just change all the things when it will tick so you cannot change anything from here now let us move to the next tab which is shift of cg so this is very simple to understand that if you want to change the cg of your column you can just give it the value here so i'm not going to change any cg of the column so i will make it this as a by default of 0, 0.0 only so 0, 0.0 it means that you don't need to change it any cg here so cg will remain at zero position only so there will not be any changes of cg cg is your center of gravity so if you want to change any cg you can just change it from here so i will not recommend you to change it any cg here you just give it this as a 0, 0.0 only now come to the next very important tab which is the frame type the frame type you know that columns will be designed with three type of the frame like we have a ductile frame then we have non ductile frame then we have a gravity frames so here also you will get detail the options like if you want to design the ground floor columns of c18 as a ductile frame then i will select as a lateral and this will be designed as a ductile frame if i want this column to be designed as a gravity columns then i will select as a gravity here and this column will be designed as a gravity columns so you will get an options of changing of the frame type also i have already explained you in the column design of the e tabs that when we have to keep our frame type as a ductile when you have to keep it as a non ductile or when we have to keep it as a gravity column so as per that requirement you have to change it here also so let's suppose that in e tabs you have given this as a ductile then here also you have to give it as a ductile only let's suppose that in e tabs you have designed some of the columns as a gravity columns so here also you have to give it as a gravity columns only so these things i am going to discuss in rcdc more deeply in upcoming lectures that when you have to give it as a framing type as a non-ductile ductile or the gravity now i am going to limit our discussions on a frame type in upcoming lectures i will explain you more deeply about the frame type now i am going to explain the basis load cases in the rcdc which we have taken from the e tabs so for that you have to go into setting options you will find the basic load cases you will click on this after that you will find analysis load cases here in one table and you will find load type in another table this analysis load cases is taken from e tabs and here you have to give it the load type only so when you just look at the date here you will just give the load type here as a date again you will find eqx1 here you have to give it earthquake x here eqx2 this will be eqx again this also will be eqx only now for the eq1 you will give it earthquake z don't give it earthquake y here the reason why because if you remember in the stat pro so if you look at in the stat pro the global coordinate system upward directions in is in the y and you will find the horizontal is x and z so if you just look at your global coordinate system in the stat pro the y is in upward directions so as you know that the rcdc is the part of your bentley only and the rcdc developer and the stat pro developer are the same here so you will find that earthquake z will be in the horizontal only it will not be in the vertical here so in the here also you will just give it eqy for as a earthquake z don't give it as a earthquake y 
because in the stat pro you will find that y is in the upward direction so that's the reason why we are giving here as a earthquake z and this also it will be earthquake z only so this also earthquake z now we have a floor finish so this will come under the dead then we have a live this will also come under the live then this live is greater than 3 this also will live then we have a dynamic load cases also here so if you just go and give it this as earthquake x here as a dynamic here and for the y we have to give it earthquake z then wall load we have to give it as a dead then we have a other water load this also we have to give it as a dead you will select these all the things and you will just give it as a primary load cases here here one very important thing you have to give it like if you don't want a static load cases here so you will select these all the static load cases from here and you will just now you will find that only your dynamic load cases are included here no static load cases are there so if you want the static load cases you just select and you do, do like this then it will come if you don't want your dynamic load cases to be there you just select this and you do like this so it will not come here so i think you are very aware of that how you have to manage your load cases after selecting your load cases what you want here you just give it okay then it will come your load combinations now in the load combinations you will get two options add from template add from analysis so either you can add it from analysis what you have done in e tabs you can add it from here or even you can just add it from template also so i have just added from template for the regular structures i will click here and all the load combinations will come here and after that you just give it okay and your load combination is taken and even if you want to change the load combinations you have to go to settings option here you will find the load combinations also so instead of 1.1 i just want as a 1.6 here so it will take don't worry about it it will take so we just keep it as a 1.5 if i don't want the first load combinations to be taken then i will untick this if i don't want second one untick this so like that these all things you can do it after doing all the changes you give it okay now we have come to the end of the lectures in this lectures we have seen lot of important things like how we can select our microsoft access file for doing the column design and detailing in the rcdc then we have seen the column layout then in the design input we have seen the column reference column sizes level data shift of cg frame type then we have seen our basic load cases then also we have seen our the load combinations then also we have seen that how we can change our level data for our concrete steel cover and also these are the important things we have seen in this particular lectures in upcoming lecture we will look at the design setting so we will more discuss regarding the design settings and all the important parameters that we have to set in our design setting thank you for watching see you in the next lecture